Saint Germain. Senator Saint Germain. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Dear colleagues, we are two families gathered here today to pay tribute to our late colleague, José Faure Nissing. Robert, Véronique, and Philippe, you are mourning your wife and your mother. Know that we too, members of the great family of senators, mourn a colleague whom we greatly loved and esteemed. I'm also thinking of her team, Louise Mercier and Nour El Farouk, who have lost a wonderful and inspiring boss. Given the sad statistic that some 39,000 Canadians have died from COVID, we all know loved ones who have been affected. José was one of them. Everyone would agree that José was a generous, capable, dedicated and resilient woman. A woman whose future in the Senate was very bright. A family woman. She was so proud of her family. We have all heard of the accomplishments of her grandsons, Jacob and Leo. Her grand in her eyes, the finest in the world, of course. Despite only three years with us, José accomplished a great deal. When she spoke, it was with conviction. She moved easily from one official language to the other, making vibrant pleas to convince us of the correctness of her point of view. José knew how to argue with strength, tact, and boldness. Yes, José was bold. I remember one of her very interventions in the Senate. It was during one of our lively debates with one of our most experienced speakers, the formidable Senator Don Platt. She was new to this chamber, which in itself might, may have intimidated many, but not José. She stood up with determination and confidence and took an active part in the debate. If memory serves me, she did a wonderful job of it. This is what I think characterizes Sen Senator Farhani Singh's career in the Senate, a courage and a willingness to express her opinions on the subjects that were important to her with openness and with a view to educate. She knew how to express a different point of view, take a second look at the legislation with relevance and elegance. In the end, this earned her everyone's respect. José's contribution, despite her short term of office, was also significant within the Committee on Internal Economy, Budgets and Administration, where I had the pleasure of serving with her. José will be remembered as a woman of integrity, competence, determination and humility. Her mark on the Senate will live on. It was a privilege to work with her. On behalf of the Independent Senators Group, I salute her and I thank her one last time while reiterating to her family and friends the expression of our deepest sympathy.